In today's video, you will learn three ways to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone with and without using a computer. With these three methods, you can transfer all your WhatsApp data with all their attachments such as photos, videos, voice messages and more from your Android phone to your iPhone. So with that said, let's get started. Our first method is using move to iOS app. For this method to work, you don't need a computer. However, there are two requirements. Number one, your both phones must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And number two, you have to erase your iPhone in order to transfer WhatsApp messages from your Android phone. If you don't want to erase your iPhone but still want to transfer your WhatsApp messages, then watch the second method. For second method, these things are not required. Now let me show you how this method works. Alright, first of all, erase your iPhone by going to settings, select general, and scroll all the way down, select transfer or reset iPhone. Next, click on erase all content and settings, click continue, type your iPhone passcode, type your Apple ID password. Next, tap on erase iPhone and wait for your iPhone to restart. Once your iPhone is restarted, now go through the setup process. When you arrive to this page that says transfer your apps and data, and there you will have several options. Among these options, select from Android, click continue, and now on your Android phone, open Play Store, and download an app called Move to iOS. This is the app, just install it. Once the app is installed, open it up, and go through this agreement process. After that, type this code in your Android phone. Now tap on connect and wait for your both phones to be connected with each other. Once they are connected, now select the type of files that you want to transfer to your Android phone. So in my case, I am going to transfer my contacts along with my WhatsApp messages. If you scroll all the way down, there you will see an option called WhatsApp. If you select it, it will take you to WhatsApp app. Tap on start and wait for this process to complete. Once done, click on next and click on continue. This transferring process will take time depending on how much data you are transferring from your Android phone to your iPhone. And also, if one of your phone's charge is running low, make sure to plug in a charger. In short, don't let your phones die. If they die, then you have to do everything from start. Once the transferring process is completed, you will see this message. So just tap on continue on your iPhone and sign into your Apple ID on your iPhone. It's very important. And I will tell you importance of signing into Apple ID later. Just keep setting up your iPhone and you can click on done on your Android phone. And when you open WhatsApp on your Android phone, it's going to look like this. So just keep setting up your iPhone. Once the setup process is completed, just swipe up. After that, you will see a WhatsApp icon like this. As you can see, mine is currently not showing the logo. Just tap on it and tap on view in App Store, which will open up the App Store. All you have to do is download the WhatsApp on your iPhone. Once the WhatsApp is downloaded, just open it up and log in with your phone number. After confirming your number, you will get to this page. So just tap on start. Tap on start once again and give all the required permissions. Tap on next. Type your WhatsApp name. If you want to protect your WhatsApp account with your email address, you can do so, but I'm not going to do it, so I'm just going to skip it. And after that, you will have all your WhatsApp messages transferred from your Android phone to your iPhone. As you can see, these were the same WhatsApp messages that I had on my Android phone. Yeah, this method is a little bit complicated, but that's what it is. Now let me show you the second method. Our second method is using a WhatsApp transfer software. For this method to work, you do not need to erase your iPhone. However, you do need a Windows or a Mac computer. And after that, you need a software by the name of iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. Just click on free download and install the software into your Mac or Windows computer. After installing it, open it up. Once open, this is the interface of the software. With this software, you can also transfer your WhatsApp business messages and others. Since I am going to transfer my regular WhatsApp messages, so I am going to select the first option. Next, you need to connect your phones to computer using a USB cable. Once 
Once your phones are connected, as you can see on the left side, you have the source phone. This is the phone that will transfer the data and the destination phone will receive the data. So in my case, I am going to transfer WhatsApp from my Android to iPhone. So I'm going to click on this icon, which will change the order. After that, click on transfer, click continue. After that, you need to backup your WhatsApp messages from your Android phone. In order to backup WhatsApp messages on your Android phone, first of all, open WhatsApp. Next, tap on these three dots, select settings, select chat, and scroll all the way down, select chat backup, tap on backup to Google Drive, and set it to never. Tap on backup. On your computer, click continue, and click on transfer directly. After that, wait for this process to complete. Next, verify your phone number, just select your country from this list and type your number that is linked to your WhatsApp account. After that, click verify, click continue, click continue again. After verifying your number on your computer, you will see this message, so just leave your Android phone as it is, don't touch it. Alright, next, select the files that you want to transfer along with your WhatsApp messages. So in my case, I'm gonna select all, then click on continue. After completing all these steps, the last and final step is to log into WhatsApp on your iPhone. Alright, first of all, open WhatsApp on your iPhone and log in with your phone number. After verifying your number on your iPhone, if you get to the screen where it says restore your chats from iCloud, then don't do it. Just skip it. Next, type your name. After that, on your iPhone, click on logged in and wait for your WhatsApp messages to be transferred from your Android phone to your iPhone. This process will take time depending on how much data you are transferring. While this process is taking place, why don't you like the video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just one tap or one click. But for me, it means a world. So thank you so much if you do. Once the transferring process is completed, you will see this message on your computer. And after that, your iPhone will restart. After restarting, all your messages from your Android phone will be transferred to your iPhone. When you open WhatsApp, as you can see, these are the WhatsApp messages that I had on my Android phone. Okay, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this video. The software I used in this video is not free, you have to purchase it. But the question is, would you purchase the software considering the fact that the software can transfer your WhatsApp messages without erasing your iPhone? Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, I would love to hear them. And also, currently, there is no free way to transfer your WhatsApp data without erasing the iPhone. The only free way is the first method. And now let me show you the third and last method. Our third and last method is using email to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone. First of all, open WhatsApp and open up any chat that you want to transfer. Tap on these three dots, click on more, select export chat, after that, you will have two options. If you want to include media such as photos, videos, and other files on your chat, you can do so by selecting the first option. If you don't want to include media, then you can select the second options. So in my case, I'm going to select the second option just for this purpose of the video. Email this chat to your own self. So just tap on Gmail and type your own email address. After that, send it. After sending the email, just on your iPhone, Check for the email. When you receive the email on your iPhone, just open it and open this attachment. As you can see, these are the WhatsApp messages that I just transferred. The only bad thing with this method is there is no option to save it in your WhatsApp app. If you tap on share, there is no option to save this WhatsApp messages to WhatsApp app on your iPhone. But you can use this chat history as a proof for future references. So there you have it guys, that is how you can transfer your WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone using these three methods. 
Please let me know which one of these options were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye. Wow.